My name is Linnell Chrisman. We're at Queen City Framing and Art Supplies here in Helena, Montana in the Lundy Center. And this is my current uh, show for June. I'm the artist feature of the month. And uh, this is my uh, uh, chakra soul music, time out of mind chakra soul music. Um, I base that off of my favorite Bob Dylan album, Time Out of Mind, um, and it's just my healing journey, what it represents to me, and um, to share with others and hopefully help heal them as well. So basically, um, music is my oldest friend. I uh, I love music. Um, I realize that I love it so much because. It is me. Um, just like my art is a reflection of me in terms of an autobiography, not in words. Uh, music expresses so much of what we all go through. It's a universal language and so is the visual. So it's, it's definitely a, a marriage of, of my love of music and the visual art pieces. Kind of like devotionals to the music that continues to save me every day. And I found it a little late in life or actually returned back to it in terms of the art practice. I used to practice um, art with my grandmother who'd you know, just provide me the supplies and let me go at it and not judge and she just loved to see the out outcome of it as well as the practice during. And so at a particular rough time in my life, I rediscovered it. I thought about all the things that used to bring me joy as a child and said, I wanna start painting again. And so it's basically a self-taught journey. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I love it. You know, I, it, I don't know the particular rules. If there are, there are, no, there are no rules in art. Like there's no rules really in music. So um, it becomes like my way of expressing who I am and what I'm all about. I also am an aspiring yogi. I um, received my certification in uh, trauma-sensitive yoga last year. Um, as well as power yoga with um, Brian Kest. And that really um, means a lot to me because I found uh, yoga about 20 years ago, not really understanding that it's more than just a physical prowess. It's more about what it does for you internally, um, a way to look at yourself and um, sort of get out of your mind. I mean, your mind is important, but over 90% of the disease that we encounter is within our minds. And so mental health is very important um, to connect with physical health and a spiritual health. So um, these styles represent my mental health journey, my spiritual journey and physical journey. So this is, I was a, a saxophone player um, from an early age. And so uh, for this particular show, I, um, I, I did a saxophone, John Coltrane is huge to me, so it's a love supreme, but it's also like more of a universal love message as well. Uh, particularly with origami, I understand that um, that is a pro practice that's very healing as well. Um, if you look at the story of Sadako, and she was uh, had terminal cancer and she uh, folded cranes a thousand to as a kind of a, a wish for peace and this is kind of my wish for peace for the world. And so I incorporated the origami for this show. This is my first practice at it. And then the um, mandalas, which are also sort of a meditational practice that monks use. Um, Tibetans in particular will take fine grains of sand and create mandalas and then sweep them away in a ceremony just to kind of show uh, that concept of impermanence that nothing remains or everything changes. So my mandalas, kind of as a sweeping away, were cut into origami paper and then I made this particular treble clef as well as some of the multimedia um, pieces here. So I started in acrylics mostly because it's a very easy medium and I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> and now uh, working here at Queen City is wonderful. Um, we have staff that is very knowledgeable in all different mediums. So they've allowed me to really branch out creatively and try some new media like um, casein and it's a milk-based paint and watercolors and different things like that. So anyone can come down and, and enjoy the art. Anyone can go on my website and enjoy my playlist, my, my, my life work. But um, you know, you don't have to pay for it in that regard. But I have established that if um, people do want to support 
my art and, and, and buy it, that all the proceeds will go to three organizations that I've teamed up with to support um, uh, NAMI. Um, uh, so I, I have a in the stigma sort of title to it, Okay Not To Be Okay, which is also a sign, song title by uh, Demi Lovato. And then also um, Suicide Awareness Voices of Education, Save. So I have a, a link called Save the Music. So I, I support that organization as well. And uh, Mental Health America too, to just, they have a bell of hope in remembrance of those who have um, committed suicide. And I put it in honor of Kurt Cobain and uh, Chris Cornell and so, so many artists that I love who have, um, are no longer with us. And I'm not, I'm not afraid to talk about uh, my own mental health if it helps other people. But for the majority of my early years, I, um, I masked my mental health, um, you know, because I wanted to be seen as this like super strong, super woman hero that didn't have any problems, that didn't struggle, you know, was absolutely perfect, showed up to work every day and school every day and didn't miss a beat. But I was living kind of a lie by not really sharing um, who I am. And I think it was Picasso that said, art is a lie that helps us realize the truth. And I think that um, in a way, uh, I am now proud of who I am and um, that it's okay to be different. Like, you know, if you don't fit, that's actually a good thing. <laughs> like to just embrace our differences and uniqueness and hopefully it will help people like realize that they they just have to you know try and go back to what they love even as a kid and find joy and that you know can save them as well just to feel like you're not alone is huge um, I, I think particularly um, in addressing mental health issues we tend to feel ashamed about our mental health struggles uh, or that nobody understands and if it's one message I can give, it's that I understand what it's like to feel like you're, you don't fit or that nobody understands you or everyone judges you. And it's just, it's, it's so important to realize that you have a larger purpose and you are worth, uh, you, you are, you know, part of this universe, you know, to, to our society loves to celebrate, um, endurance athletes like I, I love to run and, and do different things but it's an endurance of the heart just sometimes to show up every day when you're not feeling it and, and continue on and um, it's tough for people and I want to sort of um, show my message of like hey I understand I get it I care and I want to help.